See, that's what I mean by I know when I'm important because you had Yvette mention that to me multiple times, so I brought it right here for you. Uh, absolutely. The eight commodity is still beeping. This shit right here. Wow. It's the ankle monitor that I had on my ankle for, oh man, maybe a little over two years. Wow. Tracking my whereabouts. They said and it was a, a, a real risk. They said I had too much money to go too many places. <laughs> they said he's a real boss. They say y'all only know him for the music. <laughs> <laughs> was the monitor really beefing when you put it on Trap Trap? That's on everything I love. That's on everything I love. That's the real monitor beeping at the beginning of Trap, Trap, Trap. Wow. And what about when you went to the White House? Yeah. And to fish. What was that like? What was that experience like? You had it all. You did Barack. What, did, what was his reaction? Nah, man. It was. It, it really wasn't cool. You know what I'm saying? It, because, <laughs> you know, it was. It was. It was really. It was really um, a pivotal moment. Mm. Me maturing a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'm out on bond, you know. I'm in a situation where they not really let me travel, you know. It's a, it's a, you know it's a serious thing, and I get an opportunity. Um, you know, Mr. Obama gave me the opportunity to come see him, you know, despite my situation. You know what I mean? And right. I'm, yeah. So it was it was most definitely, you know, taken with grace. So when I got in there, you know, I, I realized the type of artist I was around. I realized. I knew what this conversation would be. This would be a real mature conversation. Right. I mean, and this is this is his way of uh, impacting the culture without having to say much. Right. Just uh, making sure he acknowledged what he feel is important, or, or bright spots he see in different artists. You know, mm. things that maybe we can address. And I thought that was so dope. That was so yeah. cool about him passing out black and white pages, saying this is our goal. No, nah, just through conversation. Right. I got that's why I got to meet Chance the rapper for the first time. Mm. I don't know, you know, Buster Rhymes and you know, having a conversation with him, Timberland, this and that, you know. So it was a uh, real important. So me sitting at the table and that monitor going off, that wasn't cool. <laughs> that wasn't cool. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when the, when you did get the monitor off? What was the first thing or where first place you went to? I don't remember. You don't remember. Nah, I don't. But I, I, whoever it was, it just felt good, man. I had it on one leg so long to where that side of my calf had stiffened up. Wow. We had to get them to move it, you know, and it took months through paperwork and all that. And when they swapped it to the other one, that shit was in the best, man. Right. Some place you did go to was the Grammys. I know when Dwayne Wade was at the crib yes the other day, I saw something. It was like a ticket from the Grammy from the Grammy Awards, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if it was the ticket, if it was the letter, because one, when you're nominated, they send you a few little trinkets. You know what I mean? Mm. They send you a few gold medals, letters that you can hang up. You know, just that's saying they appreciated you. And I believe I've been um, nominated four or five or six or seven times. But it's cool, you know. It's cool. Uh, yeah, my team there make sure they spread it out and, and hang it up. And, you know, I don't be tripping. You don't be tripping. Nominated, but never won a Grammy. It's going to come, though, Ross. I, I think it. I believe it. And they ain't, I ain't, my mind ain't even on that. <laughs> ain't even tripping on that. I ain't even tripping on that. I think you also have an MPC that belonged to Jay Dillard, if I'm not mistaken, right? No, that's not a real MPC. What that was was one of his limited record packs that hmm. they released. You know what I mean? I had to make sure I got my hands on that. And they only made a few of those. So that mm. was still a limited release vinyl record and some more little cool shit. So shout out to Jay Diller. That's one of my favorite producers. Also, I know that you're a big collector of old newspapers. Right. Where did that, where did that come from? It actually really just happened by accident. I went to a estate sale. One thing a lot of people don't know is on the low, I love to smoke and go thrifting. Mm -hmm. I love to go to a thrift shop. And so uh, it was a estate sale going on in Miami, a big mansion. You know, they'll lay everything out, let you walk through there, anything you want. And um, I actually came across a collection of newspapers, maybe 40 years worth. Mm. And um, I just bought them. 
Wow. Ever since then, when I go places and they, wherever they have newspapers, I want them. Let me get them. Right. Yeah. And what about, I know you collect figurines as well, too. Yeah, all kind of figurines. I got one right here that we just bought from a thrift show yesterday. Pass me that, please, bro. This ain't even been in here 24 hours. Wow. More exclusives from the boss. Yeah. <laughs> what character is that from, Ross? Honestly, I don't know. <laughs> when I first seen it, when I was walking through smoking and I seen this in his hand, I said, it got to be Star Wars. Uh, I the boots, I was like, the boots are a little different, but I got my homies. You know, once my little homies come through, they're going to tell me the name, you know, when he died, when he lived, what he known for, like that. Mm. <laughs> Have you always been like this, like uh, a collector of things, a hoarder? Um, I would when I could. Mm. You know I'm saying, but once I got in a position where I could get all that I see and want, let's get it. Let's get it. Right. Because we got little ones that come behind us. They look at me crazy too. My son, little Will, he look at me. I don't want to touch that. <laughs> That's cool. But you will one day. You know what I'm saying? Once yeah. They'll appreciate it one day. You know what Word. I'm saying? I saw what I saw. Uh, I think it was also a way you have jet magazines like from back in the day as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you have magazines in uh, really, really any black publications? If mm. I can, if I can, if I can with the the black publications, I want them. You know what mm. I'm saying? I want them. You want them all? Jet magazines, Ebony magazines, of course, the Jets, because when I was a shorty. Yo, whoever was the jet model of the week, you know what I'm saying? The beauty of the week? Oh, man, if I had an IG, she would have been in trouble <laughs> when I was a young dude, you know what I mean? Because they they seemed, they was just so beautiful, so classy, you know, those educated poses, you know, yeah. that's, it, it don't matter. When I see a black woman, that's what I see, you know right. what I'm saying? It's like I could see the value in you back then, that's what that molded me into that and it's 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 so powerful to me even if i even if i walk um into a club and i and i got a, a young female and she twerking she could be shaking her ass and i still see the beauty in her you know see the beauty in it I don't, yeah i don't went to some of the best black black colleges and i'm talking about one with the best gpas up there having a good time you know what i mean so i just feel it different coming from florida dancing Enjoying yourself and partying is different. That don't mean you, if you see a shorty twerking or like that. I don't have no problem with Megan twerking, Cardi B twerking, and Nicki right. twerking, whatever that is. Because where I'm from, that's what it was. Yeah. You know, walk outside on your porch, your sister and your cousins was going to have their hands on their knees twerking. <laughs> the DJs was going to be set up, and they was going to have the best time. So if you wanted them to have a good time, that's what it was. That's part of Florida culture. That's without a doubt. Right. That's without a doubt. 305. You Ross, better believe it. You've been in the game for over 20 years, give or take. Do you do you still keep things from your video shoots, or do you, like, not save them? Well, you know, when it's something that's super dope, I do. 